don't have too many columns here. Uh, we have only the occurrence number, uh, as we have uh, 1,000 records in the Fiji earthquake data since uh, 1964. Um, it's not comprehensive, but anyway, uh, this first column is not important. Uh, second two columns are latitude and longitude, which mean um, map coordinates. And then depth, it's kind of a third dimension of map coordinates. And magnitude, it means how strong the earthquake has been. And the last one is stations, which is not important in our analysis, as we want to visualize somehow this data, which looks like boring, but can uh, reveal some interesting details when we look at it closer. So first, first when I started to visualize this was to make some uh, initial research. And for that, uh, I took Google Maps and saw where the Fiji is actually. Uh, and it is located uh, near Australia and New Zealand. It's a small island in Pacific Ocean there. And let's see if there are any earthquakes actually happening. So this is uh, a map of tectonic plates in uh, world or Earth. Uh, so Fiji is here. And as you can see, there are lots of tectonic plates and complicated things happening with earthquakes there. So something is uh, actually happening there. And this also proof uh, 1953, there has been an earthquake in uh, Fiji. This has been probably the worst in its history. The magnitude was uh, almost seven and depth 60 kilometers. And when I look to data, uh, the magnitude is at the top scale uh, and the depth is almost in the surface as the uh, observations are only 700 kilometers deep. So then I used some uh, R programming, which you are probably not interested in. But uh, first thing was that I, um, as a pre-visualization, I plotted the plots or records in the data to 2D world map. And this is what they look. There are actually two di uh, distinct plates, tectonic plates, uh, obviously here. So these form kind of Y letter. So left there are less and right there are lots, lots of more uh, dots. And now I wanted to make this uh, 3D and also so the magnitude of earthquake. So let's see that visualization. And it is here, here. So now we are looking the same um, same pattern than we just did from a 2D map uh, from above. So uh, we can look this uh, actually from the side, but let's see the 2D map again. So you can see here are uh, dots from the first plate and here are the dots from the second plate which is Pacific and it's Australia. So now remember this pattern and see the 2D pattern. It's exactly the same. So we are looking this data from, from above. And now we can uh, take a look from the side. So now we are looking from south to north and the surface is here. And you can see here at the left, there is the depth. Uh, so it goes from zero to 700 kilometers. And now you can just uh, roll this data. You can see two plates and how I made these uh, two plates to be uh, distinct colors. I made k-means cluster analysis to do that. Uh, very simple and effective. And now let's consider the 1953 earthquake, which was uh, 6.8 magnitude. Uh, of course, it's not in this data set, but it could be like, um, let's see, like this one, this is 47 kilometers deep. Uh, I don't see the magnitude here, but it's um, 
is from the top end. So it could be like here. And yeah, now, now I lost control with this cube, but yeah, you can see it's awesome. Okay, thanks for watching.